Now that you understand Earth's graticule, let's look at how projecting the graticule onto a flat surface results in distortion. While map projection is actually a mathematical process, you can visualize it as the transfer of the graticule and land masses from the globe to a flat map. In this case, a cylinder is used, and as it is unrolled, it reveals a map projection. Although a globe can show Earth's graticule and land masses without distortion, a flat map cannot. Different map projections maintain certain characteristics at the expense of others. This is why different map projections are created for different purposes. What do the properties of the graticule, the intersecting lines of latitude and longitude, tell us about the distortion on each of these map projections? Remember that a given map projection can only accurately depict certain graticule properties and that others will be distorted. While each map projection is able to depict some properties correctly, none of them are able to maintain all properties of the graticule. As you can see, since the graticule is changed when it is projected, all maps are distorted. Areas, shapes or angles, distances, and directions comprise Earth's spatial relationships and characteristics. No map projection allows all spatial characteristics to be preserved on a single map. Different projections attempt to preserve different characteristics. Two key properties considered when creating map projections are equivalence and conformality. Equivalent or equal area map projections preserve the relative size of areas they depict. Conformal map projections preserve shape and angles. On these three maps, the globe and the conformal map show the same angle when a line is traced from Townsville through Brisbane and Adelaide in Australia, but the equal area map shows a smaller angle. Maps that attempt to provide a visual balance of all the characteristics are called compromise projections. They do not preserve any specific characteristic. When a map projection preserves one spatial characteristic, all other spatial characteristics are distorted. To understand this, consider a golf ball and its dimples. The dimples on a golf ball are a series of circles that are uniform in size and spacing. Now, imagine a globe covered with the same series of uniformly sized circles. Projecting the circles onto a map will make some of the circles change size or shape. In the map showing size distortion, the projection preserves the circle's correct shape, but the circles vary in size or area as distortion increases away from the equator. Note that the map with shape distortion preserved the area of each circle. On an equal area map projection such as this, some circles change to ellipses. However, notice that each ellipse has the exact same area as the circles. This map distorted shape while preserving area. Let's look at the map projections that preserve specific spatial properties. Equal area or equivalent projections preserve area relations on the map. If you compare the area of a landmass on a globe and then visually compare that same landmass on an equal area projection, the area relationship will appear the same as on the globe. Notice, however, that the shape of a landmass on a map may differ when the surface area is preserved. Equal area map projections are typically used to study and compare the distribution of demographic characteristics such as population density or physical data such as rainfall amounts. Compare this map to a map projection that does not preserve area. You can see that equal area maps are useful for understanding population distribution. Conformal map projections preserve shape or angular relations on the map. 
in doing so, they necessarily distort area or size. Conformal maps are often used for mapping land parcels, navigation charts, and topographic maps. Compare the conformal map to a map projection that does not preserve shape. You can see that conformal maps accurately display shape and angles on a map. Compromise projections do not preserve any single property. Instead, these projections attempt to preserve the size and visual appearance of land masses on the Earth's surface while balancing the distortions of size and shape. Compromise projections are used for general purpose world maps. They are used to communicate a balanced representation of the globe. Spin the globe to visually compare the representation of Earth's spatial characteristics on this compromise projection. Let's compare the ways different land masses are depicted on different projections. Select the highlighted land masses on the globe and compare the shape and area depictions on the three map projections.